Hey guys, so somebody asked me, when does it make sense to implement Vue.js or when it makes sense just to write plain old JavaScript without the help of any libraries like Vue.js? So in a nutshell, as your project becomes more complex, the more useful a JavaScript library will be, whether it be Vue or React or Angular. And the other factor is as you have more and more developers involved in the project, again, the more valuable the uh, JavaScript framework or library will be. Reason being is that the framework imposes a certain structure and it takes care of a lot of things, a lot of common tasks that you uh, may have to execute on with a medium to complex project. The last element is the project itself. Depending on what you need to do, a library may come in handy or it may not. This, by the way, also applies to backend frameworks like Python Django, Ruby Rails, ExpressJS on Node, PHP Laravel, Java Spring. Again, same situation. As your project becomes more complex, as the job becomes more pro complex, or as you have more developers involved, more, the more likely a framework on the server side is going to be very useful to you. That being said, once you've gone over the uh, overhead, or once you've taken, taken the time to learn a library like a view, or a full MVC framework like Python Django, or uh, well, a full framework rather, like Python Django or PHP Laravel. Uh, once you understand them, it's pretty easy to deploy them. And when you know your framework well, typically, typically you're just going to use them even for simple projects because you know how to. You will know how to set them up very quickly. Initially, though. When you're first learning a library like Vue or a framework like Laravel or Django, there is that heavy uh, learning curve because there is some complexity there. But I think at the end of the day, it's worth learning. They're worth learning because uh, they're going to become more and more handy for you as you become more comfortable with them. Not all libraries and not all frameworks are created equal, of course, right? Some are easier to set up than others. Some require a huge amount of work to set up. So I know that Java Spring, compared to, let's say, PHP Laravel or Python Django, much more work to just get it up and running. Although I'm sure you're going to have some Spring people saying, well, no, it's quite easy. Well, anything Java is going to be harder than anything Python or anything PHP, just by its nature unless they change something in 2020, which I doubt. Now, with regards to libraries like Vue and React, again, there's some complexity that you may find in React, but you won't find in Vue. You're going to have to explore that, see how they uh, fit in the type of work that you do, and you got to make a choice, too, based on the project, as I mentioned earlier. At the end of the day, uh, which frameworks you use comes down to some, a lot of times to personal taste, the type and the type of projects you're going to be using. So what I would suggest is that you implement my need to nerd policy and strategy in terms of deciding when or when not to use a particular framework. Let me get into the details. So a need to nerd strategy is there's a certain set of technologies like Vue, like React, like Laravel, et cetera, et cetera. There's a certain set of technologies that you should learn only when you need to. That being said, uh, you may decide that you're going to be a Laravel developer or you're going to be a Vue.js developer. So then you learn it, right? Because that's your goal. You like Vue. You see there's job opportunities. So jump into it. Or maybe you like Python Django. Same thing. You, you like it for ver various reasons. Always consider the market. Because you may like a, a technology a lot, but if nobody wants to pay you to actually use it, then it's kind of useless. So you got to make sure that whatever whatever technology you happen to use, whether it be front end like Vue or React or Angular, or back end like PHP Laravel, Python Django, Ruby Rails, or Java Spring, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, make sure that there is actually a job uh, market open to you. Fortunate thing for us developers, many times. There are a lot of opportunities. I've even seen 
uh, people who still get jobs doing code fusion programming, if you could imagine. Now, that's an old technology from the 90s. It's basically just Java in a, friendly, in a friendlier format. Um, it's very powerful, and there are still amazingly code fusion jobs, not nearly as many uh, uh, jobs in code fusion as you would see in so many other technologies that compete against it. But on the, at the same time, there may not be many jobs in code fusion, but if there's less developers, then you can command a high price for your skill sets. But that's another story. So there you go. So the original question was, to recap, the original question was, when should you use Vue or when should you use just plain old JavaScript? Depends on the job. Depends on the job. If I were a young, nerdling, budding developer, I would learn my foundations, do a couple of project courses, tutorials, one or two maybe, then go out there and do some real work with clients. And then once you've done that, you're going to have a very good idea of what's going on out there and what you like to do. And then you can choose whether or not you want to learn Vue.js as a side thing. How do you learn Vue.js? Do you have to buy a course? You could, but once you know your fundamentals, you could probably just go to the Vue.js site and do the hello world, if you will. Just do the quick uh, tutorial that they'll have on the site. Boom, 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 setting it up, what you can do, bang, bang, bang. That's all you really need. And you know what? If you just did like, a, or even a, some YouTube thing real quick. If you just did that, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, play with it, maybe an hour, that's it. Then you, okay, you go, now I know what Vue can do. And then you're you're not an expert in Vue by, by any means. You just started. But at least you know what it can do. And if a job comes up where Vue would come in handy, you're going to go, oh, you know what? Vue would come in handy there. Hey, guys, just a little bonus here. So if you're still watching... I am now, well, I've written it all out, and I'm thinking about putting out a new ebook or video book, we'll call it, called The Lizard Wizard. That's the working title. I don't know what's going to be, I don't know what the final title is going to be. Essentially, it's, uh, it's a blueprint to your brain, and it's a uh, book on, it's a, a training on psychology and how you can actually control yourself and your environment around you because you'll have an understand how an understanding how the world really works. Why is it called Lizard Wizard? Because uh, we have two parts to our brain. We have the higher thinking brain and we have the lizard brain. What science has discovered over the last 15 years or so is that in fact the lizard brain, which is infinitely more powerful than our thinking brain, controls most of our major decision making. And as such, um, once you understand how the lizard brain works and thinks and operates, the, what, what the operating system really is of the lizard brain, then uh, you can have a lot more control over how you feel and how you direct, how you make your choices in life and people around you, in fact. So it's quite uh, profound teachings. Um, I started learning this stuff when it first started coming out with authors like Cialdini and the Kahneman years and years ago. If people don't know, I studied psychology in university. I'm not a psychologist. I dropped out to start my first, well, not to start, to push my first business. So, But I kept up to date to a certain extent with regards to um, cognitive psychology and other things. So anyway, long story short, I am looking to put out a video book, if you will, on this subject. Let me know below if that interests you at all, because I know that a lot of people have a lot of fears and anxieties about learning to code or getting a job or making choices, this uh, training will help in a huge way, in a huge way. Remember, our brains are basically just mushy computers. Uh, the programming in our brains is very distinct, in fact. They figured out that we do have certain set routines, to borrow a term from old school program. We have certain functions that are built into our brains. And these functions are, are fired off over and over and over and over again. And our brains have primary motivations that are... We, we operate on these primary motivations, but we may not be conscious of them all the time. Anyhow, I won't get into it from here. Just let me know below if this is at all interest, interesting to you because uh, I'll push out this uh, new video book much more quickly. Oh, what the hell's going on there? Somebody's making noise. I don't know what beeped there, so I better find out. Bye-bye.